In this video, we build a static website in an Azure storage account. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my channel. Azure Storage has a lot of useful features. We can use it to store unstructured data in a blob container or use it as a file share with Azure Files. That's just a couple examples. Coming up, we look at how we can use it to host a static website. Before that, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, and hybrid identities with Enter ID and Windows AD at udemy.com. And thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, Azure has a lot of options for hosting web content. Azure App Services or Kubernetes, for example, but sometimes we just need to stand up a simple HTML website. We can do that with an Azure storage account. When we talk about web content, there are two categories of content types, static and dynamic. A static website is used to host HTML code hosted on a web server. A static website has stable content. The code doesn't change and all users get the same view. The other option is dynamic web content. This is content that's created when the user visits the site. Dynamic content requires a backend service, some type of content management system used to generate the content. An Azure storage account can host a static website. However, we can add some dynamic elements with client-side scripting, such as JavaScript. This creates dynamic content for code hosted on a static site. JavaScript does not have the same features as a dynamic site, but provide some flexibility in how content is displayed when using static code. By the way, I'm going to use a JavaScript example from w3schools.com. Check that out if you want to learn more about creating web content. The link is below. However, this isn't intended to be a tutorial on JavaScript or HTML. Coming up, we'll create a storage account, then enable it for static web content. We'll add a simple web page first, then update the code with a simple JavaScript example. Let's log into the portal and get started. Here we are in the Azure portal. Let's start by going to create a resource. And from here, we'll search for storage. And from here, we'll create our storage account. Select a subscription and resource group or add a new resource group. Give the storage account a name. The name has to be globally unique and it's part of a URL. So lowercase letters and numbers only. Select your region and performance tier. This example will use central US and standard performance. Select the redundancy needed for the account. This is a demo, so this example will use LRS. We'll leave the rest set to default for this example and go to review. Once ready, click create to create the storage account. This will take a minute to finish. We'll pause here until it's ready. The deployment finished. Let's go to the storage account. Here we are in the new storage account. Let's go to static website under data management. As you may imagine, we need to enable the static website feature. Next, we have to supply an index page. This is the page that returns when somebody navigates to the root of the web service. This is simply the default web page. We'll give it the name index.html. And we can supply an error document. For this example, we'll give it the name 404.html. We won't configure an error page for this example, but it works similar to the index page just with a different name. Once ready, click Save. Once we save, we get the primary endpoint. This is the public URL for the web page. Copy that, we'll need it shortly. If needed, you can always come back to static website to find the URL. Next, let's scroll up to containers. In containers, we have a new logs and web directory. We'll store our web files under web. Let's open that. We need to add our index.html file. There are a lot of options for editing web content. 
we're going to keep this simple and open notepad. From here, we'll add a block of simple HTML code. The code on the screen is available at my blog. The link is below. Let's save this document as index.html. One important step is to make sure it's not getting saved with the .txt extension. From Windows, set the file type to All Files. That removes the default .txt extension. We'll give it the name index.html. If the file saves with a different extension, this won't work correctly. There we have it on the desktop. Next, we need to upload the file to the storage account. Let's go back to the storage account. Here we are in the web directory. Let's upload. And we'll browse to that file. There it is on my desktop. We'll select that and open. And upload. Next, let's open up a new tab and go to that endpoint. Here we are in a new tab. Let's paste in that endpoint URL. And here we have a very simple but functional static website. Let's modify this code to include JavaScript next. Go back to the storage account. We're going to update the index file. Right click on index.html and go view edit. We can edit the file right from the portal. We'll replace the existing content with a block of JavaScript code. And again, this is available at my website. The link is below. We'll save and close. Go back to the endpoint tab. And we'll do a refresh. If you don't get the updated site, you may need to close and reopen the browser. Now, if we click, click me, the message on the screen changes. This shows a simple example of client-side JavaScript hosted on a static website. That is how to create a static website in an Azure Storage account. I hope that helps you better understand how to create a static website with Azure Storage. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.